an argument for persistent teams. When any new team comes together, they go through four stages. Uh, forming, storming, norming, and then performing. Uh, forming is like the initial introduction phase where people are getting to know each other. Everybody is on their best behavior trying to impress each other. But uh, unfortunately, this best behavior doesn't last forever and that's when storming starts. And you start to see difference in opinions, uh, disagreements and sometimes even arguments. Uh, there is also some sort of competitions at play at times where people are trying to establish the hierarchies within the team and the pecking order and all of that. Now, storming is a phase that each team has to go through, uh, but it has to be actively managed. The team lead should ideally uh, you know, establish the ground rules for storming uh, so that the team comes out of that phase stronger. In the uh, norming phase, uh, people start to uh, accept each other, uh, respect each other and trust each other. And uh, during this phase, uh, they establish ways of working together, uh, factoring in each person's strengths, limitations, interests, and so on. And once the norming phase is done, uh, that's when teams get into the perform stage where they start to actually work together really well as a team. And uh, for product teams, this really is the uh, target end state where teams can perform at their best week in, week out, uh, like a well-oiled machine or a symphony, if you would. Teams uh, that have gone through these phases and are performing might still regress to one of the earlier stages. And this could be triggered by either a change in the nature of work, which requires uh, people to learn something new and thereby bringing out uh, new strengths, new limitations, uh, new interests and so on. Or it could also be caused by a change in the team structure. Uh, which is essentially a team member leaving the team or somebody new joining the team. Uh, whenever there is a change in the team structure, people, the teams will go back to the form, form stage and then they start again from the form, storm, uh, norm and perform. Uh, now, in the given that product teams really want to be performing at their best week in, week out, this sort of distraction or disruption is something that you want to avoid. Uh, and that is really the case for persistent teams where you know the teams are comfortable with each other they recognize each other's strengths and limitations and they can really work together as a strong unit but that is not to say that you should never change your team structure uh, when you do need to change your team structure you want to evaluate it with the possible benefits of having the new structure vis-a-vis uh, -vis the cost of going through the change of uh, the the form storm norm cycle all over again let me leave you with a personal anecdote that I often share with teams at the beginning of the forming stage to illustrate the beauty of uh, persistent teams. Uh, so this happened about 10 years ago, uh, back in 2012. Uh, I was traveling on work at that time and I was in the US somewhere and I was coordinating with my wife who was uh, in Bangalore. Now this was before the days of WhatsApp and we were exchanging text messages. And of course even emojis were uh, not really a common thing back in the day. Uh, so we were essentially coordinating to plan a personal trip somewhere in, within India and uh, we were looking at some flight options and you know how to go about booking them and whatnot. And I suggested something to my wife and I got back a reply. Uh, the moment I saw the reply, I knew that my wife was pissed off with my suggestion. It was just the, the, the underlying tone of the message. You know, there's no emoji. There's nothing to say to an unfamiliar eye. They would not find anything wrong in that message. But I was able to send something. So then I chose an alternate course of action at that point in time. And uh, a week later, once I come, came back to India, I asked my wife whether she was really pissed off with me at that time. And she actually was. Now, how did I know that? Uh, because we'd been married for over 12 years at that time. And uh, we'd gone through the forming, storming, norming stages several times. And um, we were able to sort of read each other's minds without having to explicitly say things. So when you blink, you know. Uh, or if somebody takes an extra second before they respond, you know why. And that's really the beauty of persistent teams. But that is not to say that we don't have our storms anymore. We still have storms whenever situations which bring out aspects of our personalities, which we haven't seen before, uh, we go through those storms all over again. 
but over the years we have figured out ways in which we could storm and norm and get back to the performing stage uh, again now if you like this video do give it a like and uh, if you'd like to chat about persistent teams give me a shout and i would love to have a conversation thank you for watching and have a good one